Hey everyone, it's Michael at Fleetio, and I'm really excited to show off our newest feature, Inspections. Our Inspections module is really broken down into a couple different steps. First, you'll come in and create what we're calling an inspection form, basically a template or a checklist of, of items for checking the, a vehicle. And then you'll actually be able to carry out or walk through that inspection using the Fleetio Go mobile app, which is now available in iOS and Android in the app stores. First, to create a form in the web application, you can see there's an Add Inspection Form button. You can give it a title, a description. You can even use an items template uh, to give yourself sort of a jumping off point um, so you don't have to create the form from scratch. We've seeded it with three initial forms uh, for uh, different regulatory bodies here. Um, you can also use uh, forms on your account as sort of the, the starting point instead. Let me jump into a form I just created uh, called the Daily Vehicle Inspection. And when I go to edit this form, you'll see it's a series of different items here, different item types, a meter entry, pass fail items, uh, for different checks, different uh, items in the checklist for checking this vehicle and, and inspecting it. Um, I can move these around if I want to change the, the order that they appear in. I could duplicate them or copy them. I could delete them. I could even jump in uh, and actually change the, the details of that item, whether or not it's required, uh, the description that appears with that item. I can also seed each item with an instructions field so that my drivers or operators can actually see the instructions right within the item of how to properly inspect a seat in this case. Uh, or any of the other items in your list. You can also customize the pass-fail values or require a photo or a comment in the case of a defective or a failed item. We also wanted to cover the concept of a workflow. So this is really the power that happens once an inspection is submitted. Um, this is really what controls uh, what happens next. Uh, the issue resolution, the notifications that occur are all configurable here. In this case, if any of the inspection items fail, an email is being sent to, to three different people here. I can go ahead and update that. Let's say maybe I want myself on this list as well, and I'll add myself to it and update the workflow. If any inspection items fail, uh, the specific item in this case, tires, um, you'll see that the vehicle status is going to change to out of service and an issue will automatically be created in Fleetio. I can go ahead and save this inspection form, make sure that it updates my changes, and then I'll jump into the mobile app and show now what it looks like to walk through this daily vehicle inspection. All right, so I'll jump into the Fleetio Go mobile app here and you'll see I have my vehicle list in front of me and I can select a vehicle. Let's say today we're going to inspect vehicle A5. I can go to its vehicle profile, select inspections, and you'll notice the daily vehicle inspection form now available to me that we just created. And as I step through, you'll notice all the different inspection items, uh, whether or not they're required. And if I click start, I can go ahead and start performing this inspection beginning with the meter reading at the top. Um, and I can give it a new meter reading, we'll say 64,000, um, and jump into the next item. This is a pass fail item for the mirrors. We'll say those are fine. I arrive at the seats item here and I can click instructions and look at the seated instructions that we entered on the web app. We'll say those are fine. What if the tires have some sort of defect and I want to mark this as a failing item? I'll do so and I get the opportunity to attach a photo or a comment. I'll take a photo just of the desk where I'm sitting for an example and I'll attach that to this inspection failure here. Um, so this becomes a part of the failure record. Once I've added that photo, I can jump through to the next item. Let's say, hey, there's body damage as well. So this one is also failing. Um, in this case, I'll add a comment to it and I'll say, hey, there's a five centimeter crack in rear bumper something like that and I'll save that comment as a part of this failure record and I'll jump through to the next item it's a general remarks field why don't we just say all else is fine and finally I have a signature field so I can actually use my devices uh, touchscreen here and enter an actual signature right onto this inspection record I'll click save flip my device back over and check submit in the bottom right I get a little confirmation I hit submit and my inspection form has been submitted so as I jump back to the inspections page, now you'll see when this inspection was last performed by myself today. Uh, I can click the history icon in the top right and see this specific inspection submission. Um, when I step through this, you'll see the duration, the user, um, all the responses. There's my photo of my desk uh, and the comments and the signature. And now this is a part of this vehicle's profile. So if you ever need to come to vehicle A5 and look at its inspection submissions, you can do so and see that specific individual uh, submission with its responses. So now when I go back to the web application and I hit inspections, I have some additional data here. As you'll see, the submissions have become to be filled up with this daily vehicle inspection, including the one I just submitted for vehicle A5. If I click on this specific inspection submission, I can see sort of a uh, summarized view of all the items and the responses, including the images and the, the comments that were added to failures. Um, I could also create a, a printable PDF here of this specific inspection submission. 
um, and you'll notice that it contains the summarized view of what just occurred and does include the photos and the inspection comments um, and it provides a deliverable, an actual uh, inspection that can be printed out or shared um, or stored with this vehicle in perpetuity. Um, I'll also notice that this specific vehicle um, has actually been taken out of service now because of one of the workflows that we created and an issue has been created because of the failed item, in this case issue number 39, has been created for vehicle A5 because of submission number 46 that I just submitted um, where the tires and the body both fail. This creates an automatic issue that can then be resolved or closed or commented on um, and actually fits right into your Fleetio issue resolution process. And as the last piece of the inspection workflows, we mentioned that if any inspection item failed, that there were a certain list of users that should receive email notifications in that event. Here is the one that was sent to me for a failed inspection for the vehicle, the daily vehicle inspection. And I received right in my inbox uh, which vehicle failed, what inspection, which items fail, what were the result of those inspection items. And I can click through and go directly back to that inspection submission should I choose to. Other features in the web application for inspections uh, involve the ability to filter off of this submissions index. So I could check out who submitted certain inspections uh, based on the specific form or the vehicle involved. I could go to a specific vehicle and actually look at the inspection history based on that specific vehicle's profile. Um, I can also capture the version history for a form. So you always know whether an inspection submission was created against the most recent version of that form. Uh, for auditing purposes, it's a very powerful feature. And we're adding more and more visual design and reporting and features every day. Uh, but we do believe this is already a very powerful tool for removing paper from the inspection process and keeping your vehicles safe, uh, ready for the road, and in action for your business on a day-to-day -day basis.